Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special review on the brand new ringside exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt Elite Action Figure from Mattel. And I don't know if you guys are noticing something, but something about this is already pretty damn creepy, Brad. But getting into it, guys, we do have the special packaging right here. If you guys want to grab this, I don't know if it's in stock right now. It may be in stock, but go over to WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. Tons of great stuff. If it's not up for order right now, if it's not in stock, they do have it on back order, and it will be in soon. So if you guys want to pick this up or any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS. But you guys can see Bray Wyatt kind of peeping through right here, and I mean, my God, that is sick. One thing I will say about Firefly Funhouse Bray, he's better than The Fiend. I like the Firefly Funhouse version of Bray Wyatt much better than The Fiend. WWE kind of killed The Fiend for me at Hell in a Cell last year, but let's get into the figure, guys. On the front viewing window, you guys can see you have this little slit in the packaging that does come undone. It's kind of stuck together, but you can't undo it. I undid it because I had a guy contact me that his figure was missing one of the accessories, and I wanted to make sure that wasn't mine before I got into the review, so I did check that out, but on the front, you do have Firefly Funhouse beautiful looking packaging. You got Mercy, you got Abby the Witch, you got Ramblin' Rabbit, you got the beautiful text. Nice sunshine background going ringside exclusive on the top this is spot varnished and not a sticker mattel logo over here down here at the bottom it does say bray wyatt wwe logo featuring mercy the buzzard abby the witch ramblin rabbit and the boss on the side you have a beautiful image of firefly funhouse bray elite collection logo here other side features all of the friends there beautiful looking stuff on the back you have a great image of wyatt and then on the back it says yowie wowie and if you guys want to read that you can go ahead and pause it now very nice little read up i definitely highly recommend you guys read it up WWE.com, nothing much more at the bottom, and that pretty much does it for our packaging, except the front viewing window, which is right here, where we can unveil Bray Wyatt, and it looks so cool out of the packaging. You got all the different accessories in there. Pretty cool packaging. You know, this figure is actually pretty controversial, and we're going to get into all of those things, guys, but we won't know until we crack him out of the packaging. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse ass out of the Firefly Funhouse box. We're really glad that you're our friend. What is good, everybody? Here is Bray Wyatt out of the packaging with a little background. You guys can see you get like this nice diorama piece of the Firefly Funhouse that actually works pretty good, especially if you put them on a stand. This would totally work as a standalone just Firefly Funhouse like kind of diorama deal. And they do have little punch out holes for all of the characters. You know, Mercy, the boss, Abby the Witch, Ramblin' Rabbit. You got all those. And the door is actually workable as well. I think you can actually push this through. And you can use this door here if you would like. So that's pretty cool. I like the they included that. I think that is a great accessory there. So I'm going to include that in the accessories because it is a nice little diorama piece. But posing this guy around, I mean, there are some interesting things about this figure, and we're going to get into all of those things. But before we get into Bray Wyatt himself, I do want to get into his accessories, guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at his accessories, then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. So if you include the diorama piece, guys, this is all of your accessories that you get right here. You get the interchangeable mic holding hands, which are always great. And then out of the packaging, you guys saw that he does have the waving hand or whatever you want to call this high five hand you can't see me hand waving hand is what I'm gonna call it but there is that mic holding hands like we covered and then you have all of the puppets right I mean what would the Firefly Funhouse be what would the Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt be without his beautiful puppet co-stars now let's go ahead and get into this guys we have all of the different puppets here first up we do have Mercy the Buzzard and I'm pretty sure Mercy was the first uh, you know one of the puppets that we saw remember it like came out of that box and we we're all like what in the blue hell is this and it looks good I think you know the likeness is there and everything it does look like the puppet. All of them have like this hollow hole up inside of it. So what I'm guessing is, is if you wanted to put this on somebody's hand, you would pop out the hand and then you would just slide this on the figure is what I'm guessing. So yeah, I guess that works. That's how you would put that on there. So if you want to put one of the puppets on, you do have to pop the arm off, not the arm, but pop the hand off and then all of the puppets can be put on the hand of the figure. So that's pretty cool. If you guys want to do that, it does securely lock on. So that's pretty nice. I like to see that, but I like his shirt. I think all of the details are there. I'm pretty sure this is just based off of, you know, his former Bray Wyatt self. Next up, guys, is Ramblin' Rabbit, probably one of my favorite ones. I hate that we didn't get Huskus the Pig. That would have been nice to see, but Ramblin' Rabbit looks good and is gray. You know, we've seen him in many different looks, but there's Ramblin' Rabbit. I like the face on there. I like everything going on. Same hole in the bottom for you to put it on the figure, so that's really nice to see with Ramblin' Rabbit. Next up, you have the boss, and the boss is, of course, supposed to be Vince McMahon. You got his suit on there. You got the devil horns. It's such good shit. 
That's what I think of when I look at this guy. So there is that. You got those two. And then last but not least, we do have Abby the Witch, which reminds me of like the Conjuring or something. But you have her black veil. You got her nice makeup on there. She's like kind of, she's like really hard. Her plastic is super duper hard. And uh, it's not as like malleable as the others. Like see, this one like kind of bends and stuff, Rambling Rabbit. And the boss, his arms, you know, are kind of moving around. And then uh, Mercy has some malleability or whatever the hell you want to call it. This one is stiff as a rock. So she's... She could knock your ass out, Brad. But we did not get Huskus the pig, so that kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. You do get these accessories. At least they did include some accessories. I like this as an accessory. Thank God they included all of them. Hopefully you're not one of those that did not end up getting their puppets. I saw a few people missing the Ramblin' Rabbit, which is just freaking crucial. Man, you gotta have Ramblin' Rabbit. But we didn't get Huskus the pig. That sucks. I do not like that. But we also did get the interchangeable mic holding hands. I think another thing that would have been cool is to see hurt and heal hands like we've seen from The Fiend. I think that would have been really nice to see. But now that we have covered Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse accessories, guys, let's get into Bray Wyatt himself. So getting into Bray Wyatt himself, guys, I mean, we have seen this head sculpt on his recent basic, the basic 111. Is it basic 111 Bray Wyatt? I actually customized mine yesterday, so I really don't have a good comparison between the two, but we will get into that with the comparison shots. But you guys can see here, he does have a nice fade on the top of the hair, getting into that sand color or light blondish color dreads. The man bun right there, you do get the tattoos on the back of the neck with the tribal stuff going down the neck. I love this head sculpt. I think it's a fantastic head sculpt. I love it. It worked perfectly for my brother, which whose figure we're still working on. I did order another basic series figure so that I can have that back in my collection because I really like that figure and I want to use it for fix-ups and stuff. So I'll probably end up buying multiple of those if I see them at retail because I love the head sculpt. But going down into the shirt, guys, this is very controversial. A lot of people like kind of doo-dooed on this figure when it first was shown because if you guys notice, it's just a painted on shirt. We have this regular torso. I don't even know what torso this is. I don't think, is it the, I don't want to say it's the Jim Duggan torso. It kind of looks like it, but it kind of looks slimmer than the Jim D Duggan torso. And it kind of looks like the Iron Sheik torso, but I feel like it's missing some. I feel like this may be a brand new skull. I could be wrong. It could be the Duggan head, you know, it could be the Duggan skull, but it's looking brand new to me. It looks super thin and it's not hefty at all like the Fiend or other Bray Wyatt figures or even the basic that we got. No collar detail right here. And there's, it's just a completely painted torso and, you know, arms. You could use these arms for a damn Finn Balor or Jeff Hardy. You can pop the shoulders out. You can pop the sleeves off. You could use this for Finn Balor if you wanted to because it's just painted on. There's no like sculpt or sleeves or anything for the sweater. It doesn't have the undershirt for the collar. I think this figure is supposed to be based on Money in the Bank where he took on Braun Strowman where he had on black pants and this sweater he didn't have on the collar. But still if you're going to get a Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt figure, you would want him to look exactly like the basic figure which we're going to get into with the comparisons. But you would want him to have the sculpted nice sweater with with the collar, with the khaki pants, and the belt, and the boots. That's what you would want, right? You would like this to be khaki. You'd like to have the nice sweater and the collar, but we do not get that with this. And this being a ringside exclusive, that is a really big letdown for me with this figure, that it doesn't have all of those details in there. Like, the crotch is just plain. There's no belt painted on. There's no belt there. So it just kind of looks like he's wearing sweatpants with a skin-tight red suit underneath. It looks super odd to me. We've seen these legs before with the Elite 28 Bray Wyatt, the Elite 36 Bray Wyatt. Build a, you know, best of pay-per-view Bray Wyatt. We've seen these legs a lot, and they are in like a darkish slacks color gray, and it's not quite black, but it is a gray color. You do have these Bray Wyatt boots that we've seen with old Bray Wyatt's, and that's pretty much it. It's really, really plain Jane for me, and I'll show you guys in the comparison shot of the video. This figure is just super odd. It's a very odd figure, and I don't know. One thing I do want to do real quick is I do want to pop on some, uh, you know, some hurt and heel gloved hands, because I think that make the figure look a little bit better. Another thing is, is you guys know that The Fiend and Bray Wyatt himself put on some girth. Well, it doesn't show the girth in the torso that we see on The Fiend figure, and it doesn't show the girth on the arms. These are Finn Balor and Seth Rollins' arms, and they don't give him the beefier, you know, Bray Wyatt arms that we got with his new figure. They're not the, the you know, the Luke Harper arms. They're regular Seth Rollins' arms, and the gloved hands definitely look a lot better on this figure than without it, so that definitely ties in there. And you might even be able to take it a step further, maybe if you switched out the legs for something and painted this crotch black but it missing the belt really just sends it off for me, man. If it had a belt sculpted on there, this figure would be a hundred times better, but since it doesn't, it just kind of looks plain Jane, but let's get into some figure comparisons. So for your Bray Wyatt Elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have the Elite 77 Fiend over here, and then we do have his basic, which has the head sculpt, you know, customized to look like my brother, but if we take this off, it'll just look like a repaint of the head sculpt or the beard, so there, that works. You can't really see the man bun anyway, so it definitely works here, but this is what we're talking about. Like, look at the difference here in the torsos 
clothes. So you guys can see all of this sculpted detail in the collar, in the sleeves, in the pants. Like, look how nice this, ba the basic figure is better than the Elite. Straight up. Like, look how nice this is. I know they didn't really sculpt it like this. They just painted over the torso. They add, they didn't add the collar. And this just looks so much better. Can you imagine? Just give us this torso, but in Elite form. Just create a lower torso and an upper torso with the collar. I'm sure we're going to get that Elite eventually. I know that they heard the feedback on the figure, and they're definitely going to do that. And then you have the khaki pants here. But this just would look so much like, see, he has the seam right here of the, the zipper of the fly sculpted on there and the wrinkles and the pants. I don't know, man. This figure, the, the basic's just superior. It's just far superior. Head sculpts are pretty much the exact same. Again, I did repaint mine for my brother's figure, but man, how much better would this figure have been? And another thing is, look how tall this figure is. He is a midget compared to the rest of the Bray Wyatts. You have the basic Bray Wyatt, which is right here. Look how much taller that is. And then if you compare him to the Fiend, look at the girth here. Look at the girth on the Bray Wyatt theme figure. Look at the girth on the basic, and then look at the girth on this new ringside exclusive Firefly Funhouse Bray. Look at this. Look at that. That is a good height difference right there, and then the, the proportions are just way different. This figure is way more stout. It looks way better for Bray Wyatt. And then if you compare it to my Bray Wyatt fix-up that we just did, you know, where I added the Elite 54 legs and stuff, this figure kind of towers over this figure. Now, I do feel, you know, Bray Wyatt is 6'3". He's a pretty big dude, and I think the fix-up does really well. I think the fix-up is pretty much perfect height. It, it may be a hair too tall, but I really don't mind it, considering, you know, Bray Wyatt is 6'3", which is, is is considerably tall. It's not massive. It's not Undertaker, but he's definitely not this short. Look how look how much taller that is, dude. This figure is tiny, and I think they made the Fiend a little bit too short anyways, so I don't really mind it. It's maybe a few inches taller there, so I don't know. Like, look at that. That's crazy, man. And if you guys want to take it a step further and you want to compare it to Alexa Bliss, this is the height between Alexa Bliss and Alexa Bliss is supposed to be five foot tall. So he's coming in at like 5'7", and that's six inches shorter than regular Bray Wyatt, which is about right there in real life. So I don't know, man. You could be the judge of it, but the figure's definitely way too short, and it's lacking a lot of details there with it, but that pretty much does it for our Bray Wyatt Elite Figure comparisons. But overall, guys, I think that is gonna do it for the Firefly Funhouse Ringside Exclusive Bray Wyatt Figure Review. Overall, I think the accessories may be alone good enough to buy it. You know, you do get all of the puppets, besides Huskus. You do get the nice diorama background, which is very nice. I do like it a lot. As far as the details and the stuff like that, man, if you just want the figure, I would say go for the basic. I would say buy the basic 111 or whatever that basic's called, and I think it's actually going for a decent price over at Ringside Collectibles, so if you want to use promo code MDTOYS to get this figure with the accessories and then pair that with the basic, I would say go for the basic. Way more details until we get that Elite, man. I just, I don't know if I would recommend this enough for it. Maybe you could find the accessories loose somewhere. I don't know, but go over there. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. Overall, if you have the basic and you don't want the accessories, man, I would say just stick with the basic. The basic is better, and that's like asinine coming from me, but you guys gotta trust my opinion if I'm saying that. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Firefly Funhouse breakdown in the comment section below. I cannot wait till the updated Elite for khakis and a sweatshirt that's actually sculpted with a collar because uh, I'm a huge fan of Firefly Funhouse Bray, so I, I freaking love him. I think he's fantastic. I think he should go to Hollywood. Damn, dude. He's so damn good. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.